welcome to the our test area here on our multiplayer server. Um, coming in here to do a little tutorial on how to build the uh, new type of uh, boosters that I showed you in the last uh, release I did for the satellite station. Um, what we're going to do is uh, start with some blocks. I'm going to build this up uh, too high. Just going to get a little platform here. I think it's 4x4. Four four. Let's see here in a second. Then we'll start laying some track down. Noticed in multiplayer, it was a little weird trying to get these tracks to work. So I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to do exactly like um, it shows in the video, namely because of this guy right here that uh, works. I think it's a, a directional thing. Is uh, on the, when I tried it earlier, it popped up uh, up high. So it might. Uh, depend on which direction you're trying to build this thing in. Alright, so once you get those two locked down, uh, then you'll open up this one here. And before you lay those down, you want to extend this out so it doesn't get messed up. So we'll go out two blocks, that should be safe. And uh, then throw two down in there. And that's where your uh, assisting mining carts are going to rest. And they'll be blocked in on each side. And uh, then the door will go right here on this first square facing the double side. Just like that. And uh, throw some carts in. No. Throw some carts in there just like that. Any order, doesn't really matter. And then uh, take your track over here and extend it uh, down. Um, doesn't really matter how far you go. The farther you go, the more boost you're going to get. And uh, then the pressure plate goes where the player sits. And then the player track goes out. And I'll just throw a loop on the end of this turn us back. You can have a, uh, a switch here to send you off one way or the other. But that takes more redstone than what we're going to do today. Make a little staircase coming up here. And then we're going to throw glass over the top. You don't want to put rock or stone over the top of these because if you accidentally click on one of these carts, you can't even click on them at all. It's weird. There it goes. And you'll be embedded in the glass and it won't hurt you. you can, it won't suffocate if you're in glass. Alright, so let's see. I think we're ready to load this thing. Just throw it down and give it a shove. It'll pop down in there and, and be uh, pushed up against the door and be ready to go. And I'm uh, not out of cards. Uh, let's see here. 328. If I remember the right. Yeah, 328. I'll have these memorized one of these days. Three, two, eight. Give me five, please. A little different here on multiplayer. It's kind of cool. I think we've got the bucket thing going. All right, so we are set up and ready to release. I did this exact same thing in the single player world. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting this part. Um, I want to take an extra second here and uh, do it out of stone steps just to satisfy my OCD. Alright. And I'll show you while I'm at it. Uh, oh, the other cool thing about the server. 
There you go. No more nighttime. I love that. All right, so shove that up in there. It'll work either way, but I want it to look nice, so I'm going to shove it up there again. All right. It's weird in uh, multiplayer how things get cockeyed so easily. It stays a lot straighter in the single player. So we're not used to this at all. Hey. That was awkward. No. Come back. Alright, try again. Throw it down here and give it a shove. It falls right into place. Then you release the door. And it falls down next to the other part and they both get boosted off. Reloads itself. And gets uh, set up for the next time. Works, works um, great either way. Um, all, the, all the time works great. So this is a three high This is a three high system, and uh, there's a OP7485KL. He uh, helped me with these ideas. Um, I had the uh, original version, and then I came in here and showed him that, and he came up with uh, this one over here. I'll show him. I'll show you his. Set up ready to go. There's no talking. So uh, on his here, you release the cart. And it drops into place. Goes around. Pretty good. So his is only. Uh, he actually came up with this one. I, I showed him the my original version, not the one I just built. He came up with this guy here. Kind of came in on on the half door. So that was really awesome. So this is only too high. Too high works great. Um, it's a little hard to load, but uh, works pretty good. I think he, oh, he's got it set up. All right, there it is. That works for good. And then uh, just recently, I was playing with the, uh, another idea here, and uh, how to not fall in holes. I haven't figured that out yet. But uh, this is a single high door booster, and don't, I mean, it, it shows it too, but let's, uh, let's disable one side just to show you. Um, it really is only a single side. I just have two set up just for, uh, for a double, a double, um, a double boost. If you have the two carts running down on either side, it will give you a double boost there. Get these damn tracks proper again. And there they are. So I'll just show you that. Ignore that side. We'll just do the single side for now because that's uh, just the proof of concept type thing. Um, so we have the same setup as the, um, the one over there, except we're all on a single level. The only thing that makes it two levels is this door here. If we had some half doors, it would work as a single level door booster. Back up on the plate, it opens the door. I missed it because I was looking down at my feet. Works pretty good. I can't get it to quite work with a pressure plate. It's not connecting right here. If you have a pressure plate, it, it doesn't want to uh, hook up. It's a lot better if you have a cart falling next to the other cart or uh, coming down or coming up. But uh, when they're at the same level, it's, it's real hard to get them to merge. So maybe somebody else can improve on that. Uh, but, uh, this works great. I, you don't have to have a pressure plate. I always have them in there for whatever reason. But I really like this one. All right, so that's uh, the three we came up with. Uh, and I'm not sure what's the best one. I just whatever works for your purposes. Uh, this one seems to be the most uh, consistent one. Um, that one and Kevin's. But uh, this is the one I probably will use most of the time, even though it's 
too high. It just just seems like it's uh, more reliable. So you know, I keep trying different stuff, and sometimes stuff will work, and uh, it'll come up with something new. Share it with us. If you get these to be improved, any please let me know. It's a kind of a brand new technology here. All right, I'll stop talking. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you want to hang on for a second, I'll show you the tour of our station we built here. It's kind of cool. It's a um, four destination lodge type of a station. The uh, the uh, arrivals is a little. Awkward. I didn't quite plan that out perfectly, but uh, whoops. Uh, warning, keep clear of tracks. So here's our uh, station here, and we've got the one destination working right now. And the rest are just loops back. So the, it goes out and then it goes upstairs like this, and then you f kind of fall down and so it works, but it's just kind of awkward. Then we got the uh, assist assisted cart disembarking. It's on its own piece of track there, so it doesn't get mess messed up. But uh, yeah, anyway, there you go. That's, uh, that's a multiplayer server. Here's uh, the redstone mess. We've got the same RS more latch as the rest, all the other stations. So that's consistent. We've got a huge. Uh, stack of carts in here. Oh, this is uh, this was the original idea that got me thinking on the uh, the one I just showed you. I was putting a two carts here on the uh, Pez dispensers and what that does is it forces the cart that's next to be um, unloaded. It forces that cart all the way up on the door. And the benefit to that is you don't have to run the track all the way around and come in from the back side. You can just run it uh, although I have it doing that on this one, you can just run it straight. They can land in the back here, and when they land in the back, they are pushed forward on the door, so they're set up. I'm not sure if I showed you guys that one. I probably will at some point, but uh, um, that's what that's what started this whole idea, is trying to get the, uh, the cart to um, shove itself all the way out on the door and be ready to go, no matter how it fell in the Pez. Alright guys, uh, I've rambled on for long enough, so I'll uh, shut up again and uh, leave you with one uh, little look around our lodge here. Thanks for watching.